Hello there again and welcome back. So let's talk about before entering into open phone, let's talk about the the environment that I'm using. So as you see in my case, I'm running uh, using Windows, but inside Windows I have a virtual machine where I run Linux. So I use in VMware where it's stationed here. So let me click there. So I, I here is launching. So here I have my virtual machine with everything. So at, at the time of this recording, uh, in our website, you can download this uh, virtual machine, but it's with open phone A, but likely uh, you will find also the the version with open phone 9. But just to show you that you open this program, press play here, and it will launch a virtual machine. Just to show you a little bit the website. So as you go to our website, you will go here, software well to web tools, and here you have it. Okay, so it's open for 8 at the time of the recording, but I will update it. You will find here open for 9. And you can download that virtual machine. It is ready to go. So just download it, extract it, and then you can open uh, that image. Okay, it's relatively easy to do that. And basically, let me launch. <coughs> you go player after you extract it, open, and you are going to look wherever you, you, you put that virtual machine, and you are going to look. So in this case, see that. I have this directory, you look with, for, for this file with this ex extension and then automatically will launch the virtual machine and then there you have everything. So let me log in here. So now I'll launch So as you see within Linux, within Windows, I have a Linux installation. This virtual machine is free. Okay, so in the slides you will find the links and just to show you, boom, 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 here, VMware. So you have it in, in Windows and Mac also, completely free, so you can install your tool. So now that you are inside here, you are going to find <coughs> OpenSUSE, the one I am using. And if I open here, you will have all the open phone installation so this is my personal one so you see that i have open phone 8 9 developer version the one that you can download you will find all, all only open for 9 or it's up to you you have your own linux installation whatever you put but remember this is very important okay you must have the, this <clears throat> this version open for 9 to follow the training. Uh, some other things that uh, to remind you, uh, you also will receive the link uh, to download all the material, okay? But also in the website, you can, <clears throat> if you go to our website, okay, here you can download all the slides. So at the time also this, this recording, you will find open from version 8, all the training material, but I will send you, all of you, you will receive the link to re download version 9 and then I will put it in our website, the version 9 or the training material, but probably in, in early December after we finish the training. Uh, also, in our website, you will find in our <coughs> YouTube channel, if you go to playlist, here you will find a playlist, okay, this one, that you have all the steps to follow. You. <clears throat> to install open phone okay in a virtual machine okay so first you have the explanation here creating a linux virtual machine in windows 10 okay so an information hey there, about so the linear ma uh, virtual machine and so on okay so this two first videos is just creating the virtual machine okay and then you will find the videos to install open phone so you will see here that these videos are open from 8 and esi 2006 Okay, but <clears throat> the steps are pretty much the same, but uh, <clears throat> I think maybe also I will have time to update all the steps, okay? So you have all the information here. Uh, the other tool that I want to show you that it might come handy from time to time is this one, AnyDesk. So this one, it is used to connect remotely, to control remotely a computer. So. When you install this one, it's a very small program, it's free on your side, okay? You are going to get this number here. So if for any reason I need to <coughs> control what you are doing or I need to get control of your computer, you just need to give me this number and then I will be able to 
log in to get access to your computer and control. Okay, so don't worry, it will ask for a password during authorization. So it's not something that anybody can connect. So you need to give it this number and then you need you need to grant, grant me access and allow me to control your computer. So this is environment and using these are my applications. Okay, so within, uh, within Linux, okay, <clears throat> important. So remember open phone nine and also if you can have a standalone installation of part of you so see here that i have then this is not compulsory this is just in case that you don't want to compile uh, a part of you that comes with open from you, you you can install that one also install anaconda tree okay so for, from time to time we're going to need python so all linux installation comes with python but i like to use this anaconda tree Okay, it's very, <clears throat> it's a very complete uh, Python installation with a, a lot of tools. So again, you go here, okay, anaconda.com, and then you go products, individual edition, here you can download, okay? So you can have, here you have all operating system. Uh, something that also recommend you to install a good text editor okay open font does not rely does not use a gui at least the open source version the free one so you need a good text editor so i recommend you this one sublime tabs again it's a free tool okay so you have a commercial version but the free tool the <coughs> you you have access to to everything it comes from linux mac and windows okay so also i have it here i have it here in my linux installation so you can use jedit Okay, it's very common in, in, in Linux, or you can use also Sublime Text, okay, which is this one. It's up to you, it doesn't matter, okay? We're going to, to address that. So this is all just to show you my, my Linux installation, my environment installation, and what I have here. So in the next video, we're going to address a little bit some basic commands in the bash, okay? The bash is this terminal window that we see here. So if you are not familiar with this, Okay, I will show you some basic steps. If you are falling familiar with this, feel free to skip this video. So thank you. See you next time. Bye.